Uh, hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q3 of the weekly contest 206, uh, min cost to connect all points. Uh, for this one, to be honest, I'm not sure uh, the most ideal way to do this. Uh, I just did it with a minimum spanning tree. I think the, because this is Manhattan distance, it makes it a little bit unclear whether there's a better way. But given that N is a thousand, during the contest, uh, you know that you could do either prims or or prims or um, Costco's uh, minimum spanning tree algorithm, um, you know, in roughly n squared time or all of ye edge, ye where ye is edge times. Uh, and in this case, the way that I did it, and there may be different ways of doing it, uh, but I just, of implementing a bit, uh, but for me, I just uh, created an explicit uh, edge, edge graph, and that's going to be n square, and then you saw it, it's going to be n square log n. Um, and apparently it's fast enough. But the re how I came to that is that, I mean, I mean, I think this image kind of gave it away a little bit for me. I think the point is noticing that uh, all points have to be connected, and that the minimum cost, uh, or oh, sorry, and yeah, all points have to be connected, and it's just the minimum cost. And the cost function is just the Manhattan distance, right? So this is actually... Uh, yeah, and that basically tells me this is this minimum spanning tree because there's exactly one simple path between any of them. Um, and yeah, and basically you want a tree for that reason. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so I solved it with Union Fine, uh, Costco's, uh, and this has minimum spanning tree problems have been coming up the last couple of weeks on the code. So, um, so I've been kind of fast about this. Uh, if you look at my time, I actually solved it in three minutes, kind of. But some of it is that when I looked at the problem, I was thinking it while think solving Q2 because the uh, the server was having some internet issues. But but otherwise, this is very uh, straightforward, to be honest. Uh, once you realize that it's minimum spanning tree, so practice with minimum spanning tree. Uh, I think prim is also okay, but I just, just that... Um, you know, in the recent contest, I've always been doing Costco, so I, for speed purposes, I did it again. Though I was thinking maybe I should do it with prims, but uh, but yeah, this is the distance function, uh, and then for each one, I just create literally an edge that has between i and j uh, with that distance, and then I sort it, and then this is just minimum spanning tree. I don't, you know, there's no. Uh, <laughs> this is a pretty straightforward application, uh, and. Like I said, it'll be n square log n because of this edge that's sort, and we're creating um, we're creating all these edges explicitly. Um, if you do prims and if you have a good uh, heap implementation, you could do it a little bit faster because um, technically it's uh, re but but that's only by log factor or it's by constant factor, which is log of v or something like that, right? So it's not really worth for me to think about but yeah um and in space this is going to be linear because of um the union flying data structure um yeah uh that's what i have for this problem i uh, hope this is this code is straightforward uh let me know what you think hit the like button hit the subscribe button and join and watch me solve this problem live next uh, still gonna mistake but okay <laughs> Do you can find it? Maybe I should have a. 
thing. Please don't time up. <clears throat> hey, hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, th thanks for watching. Thanks for, you know, supporting. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And yeah, and check out me solving the rest of the contest somewhere in the link below. Bye-bye. Uh,